Hi, I'm Selter. I'm the owner of ICM Photography and we have been selling on Lazada for five years. What ICM Photography stands for is actually instant catching moment. So what we started is renting cameras and you can see from this shelf, when we rent cameras, right, we want consumers to buy our films and that's where it all started our e-commerce journey. From these instant films, then we start to slowly expand to all the camera products. We also start to expand to digital products like gimbals and also higher-end camera lenses. So these are basically some of the products we sell in Lazada. At least six years, seven years ago, it was the period whereby all the e-commerce platforms start to come to Singapore and people are really shopping online in this kind of platform whereby there's a lot of assortments. And then we saw Lazada and we decided to just get into Lazada because we see the opportunity there. Like, there's a lot of assortments, so people don't need to just come to my blog shop to see a few items. They can get to shop a lot of stuff and my stuff will be one of them. The day in my cell life will be like waking up in the morning. The first thing I'll do in the morning is always to process all the order. So after I will pack the order, they will split them. There will be normal meal passes and career pickups. So I will pack all the career pickups first. Then I will put outside my house, then they will come and collect. And for a normal item, after we pack them right, I will just go down to downstairs, there's a post office to drop them off. And after that, because we are also doing consignment and taking stock from local suppliers, that's where in the noon time I will travel out and take stocks from my local suppliers for yesterday and today's order. Uh, we are going to one of my suppliers where we do consignment and we help them do this thing online so we get the products we sold for them. Uh. This vendor that I'm going to, right, they belong to the older generation that is not good with e-commerce. So, and they are selling those high-end camera products, the camera lens, camera bodies. These are the products that me as a small-time seller not able to afford. Lah. So we just do on a consignment basis, on a soap basis, then we collect. Usually, I won't just take and go. We have some interaction with our supplier so that to keep in contact what is the latest product, what is the good product that we can bring, and what other product that they want to push online. And after collecting the orders, roughly we will come back around evening time already. And in the evening, right, to the night time, it's the only time that we will be um, doing our listing, doing photo editing, and submitting for campaigns and events. Uh. So in the whole day, like, I will take out like three quarters of my days really working. Other tools in Lazada that is boosting our sales will be, last time we were using a lot on the bundles. Now there's this another tool called Flexi Combo, which is more flexible, whereby we can group different items and let consumers know that when they purchase A, they, if they purchase B, C, D together, right, it'll be cheaper. And we make sure that we group all these items carefully together. So it's complementary items that they can purchase together at a lower price. Another major part of Lazada provide me, because we are a one-man show company, so Lazada, they have events, offline events, and they have Facebook groups. Like all these events where I always attend, and the groups that I join, like I meet a lot of other sellers. Then, you know, like we are not so competitive, but we make friends, and we talk about how to run the business in a better way, is that we learn from each other. So these sellers that we always meet during events, like they are becoming my colleague. When you are in a one-man company, you don't have colleague to share like what is the problem you're facing, what is the things that you can do to improve. So these colleagues help me a lot like, in the journey. One advice that I want to give to all these kind of new sellers right, is to always stay focused and know what kind of specialty store you want to be. Don't become a store that sells all the very good and fast-moving products. You need to become a very specialty store so that you will get your very own group of consumers. And when you get your own group of consumers, that's when you start to expand. Yeah, so that's one way that I think the new sellers can start to look into one. Uh.